Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the VLOOKUP to compare two lists. So I've got this list, week one, which is spelt wrong, and this list, week two. So I want to know if these companies appear in this list. Now I'm going to name these, so I'm just going to highlight each of these and just and get them to be named using the computer. So formulas create from selection, um, not left column, top row. So basically it's going to name this column week one and that column week two. Click OK to that. And then the first one is I'm going to look for this in this list, which I can see it's not there. So that should return not applicable, NA in the VLOOKUP. And this should bring it back. This should return it. So if I just type the VLOOKUP there, equals VLOOKUP, open the bracket on it. It's asking for a lookup value. So that's going to be this cell, cell C3, comma. And then I'm going to look at the name range week one, which is highlighted now, comma. There's only one column. So one, comma, zero for an exact match or you can click on false but zero i know works as well i'll click ok to that comes back with na drop that down and crash it is also not in this list so according to that two items in week two do not appear in week one and then you can do the reverse if you want to see what's in this week and not in that week you can do it the other way around so if i go equals v look up Click on the value you want, in this case, B3, comma, looking for B3 in week two. So week two, and then everything else is the same. Column one, there's only one column. And then close the brackets like that. So AMAC is not in this list. Just double click that down, and you can see there that under U is also not in this list. And sort it is not in this list so it's a simple vlookup just checking whether an item appears in a list or not so if it does not appear it brings back na if it, it does appear it just brings it back like so now if you want you can put a error message up there if you want let's do that let's do if error so if this returns an error which na is classed as an error you can have it display in a different instead of na you can have it display in a word so i'm just going to put missing as the word that has to go in quotes like so so if it returns an error put the word missing in there and just double click that down so now it's just saying missing and then i'll just do the same on that so in front of the v if error open the bracket get to the end of the v lookup do a comma open quotes, type missing, close quotes, close the bracket, click the tick, double click that down, and then you've got missing. And then obviously if you highlight all of this, you can use conditional formatting to flag up whether that says missing or not. So if I go to conditional formatting, go to manage rules, new rule, only format cells that contain cell values equal to and then the type of word missing is equal to missing. I want that flagging up red. OK, OK. And then new rule, if it's not equal to, so not equal to, missing, flag green or show green. That colour green, OK, OK, OK. So that it's a bit more visual, you can see it colouring up wherever it finds the word missing in that example. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Hopefully that information is of use to you. Thank you for your time, I'll catch you on the next one.